Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very, very interesting question from system of equations. We have fourth root of 1 plus 5x plus fourth root of 6 minus y equal to 3. And second equation of the system, that is 5x minus y equal to 18, we have to find out real solutions. So let's get started by writing substitution, the most important, and domain of the equation. So let me write, this is my equation number 1 and 2. And I will write first of all, xy belongs to real number. And this is our substitution. The very first fourth root I will consider A. And the second fourth root I will consider B. Now let me write domain of the equation. So fourth root is involved. I will write 1 plus 5x should be greater than or equal to 0. So 5x should be greater than or equal to negative 1. So x should be greater than or equal to 1 over 5 that is 0 0.2 with negative sign. So for solution to be real, x should be greater than negative 0 0.2. Similarly, from the second fourth root, I will write 6 minus y should be greater than or equal to 0. So y should be less than 6. So for real solution, y value should be less than 6. So let's frame equations again. So once you will pick or once you will substitute the first fourth root as a, second fourth root as b, then you can write equation 1 as a plus b equal to 3. Done. Now I will frame one more equation by writing its fourth power. So I can write a power 4 will be 1 plus 5x as our substitution is fourth root is equal to a. So a power 4 will be 1 plus 5x. Similarly, b power 4 will be 6 minus y. Let us add both. So I can write a power 4 plus b power 4 equal to 7 plus 5x minus y. And see what is 5x minus y? It is 18. So from equation 2 of the system of equation, I can write 7 plus 18. So this value will become 25. So let me write our system of equation once again. Because we will solve now this system a plus b equal to 3 that is first or you can say equation number 3 fourth equation that is fourth power a power 4 plus b power 4 equal to 25 now i will use algebraic identity you can use pascal triangle and expansion method also that is what we have seen in the earlier problems also so let me use this time algebraic identity I will consider my target is to find out a and b separately then I will put this a equal to what we will get. So let me consider the equation number 4. So this equation I can write a power 4. So a square plus b square whole square done. a square whole square is a power 4. b square whole square is b power 4 plus 2a square b square. So I have to compensate it. So I will write minus 2a square b square is equal to 25. Now again, known equation is a plus b equal to 3. So I have to convert this a square plus b square again in terms of a plus b. So I can again write a plus b whole square, this bracket only, whole square minus 2ab. Bracket is done. Rest is as it is whole square minus 2a square b square and right hand side is 25. Now let's put the value of a plus b whole square. Okay, then we will collect quadratic in ab. So let us put over there. So I will write a plus b whole square minus 2ab whole square minus 2a square b square equal to RHS was 25. Done. Now let us put the value of a plus b equal to 3. Okay, so it will become 3 square minus 2ab whole square minus 2a square b square equal to 25. I will write 9 minus 2ab whole square 
माइनस टू ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव लेट एस अप्लाई ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर फॉर्मूला सो आई विल राइट एट्टी वन प्लस फोर ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर माइनस टू ए बी नाइन टाइम्स टू इज एटीन एटीन टाइम्स टू इज थर्टी सिक्स सो माइनस थर्टी सिक्स ए बी माइनस टू ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव फोर ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर माइनस टू ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर टू ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर माइनस थर्टी सिक्स ए बी एट्टी वन माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव दैट वुड बी फिफ्टी सिक्स आई विल राइट प्लस फिफ्टी सिक्स इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ यू कैन सी इक्वेशन इज डिविजिबल बाई टू सो लेट एस डिवाइड आई विल राइट ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर माइनस एटीन ए बी प्लस ट्वेंटी एट इक्वल टू जीरो सो दिस इज वन क्वाडेटिक इक्वेशन इन ए बी ओके दिस इज इन क्वाडेटिक इक्वेशन इन ए बी सो लेट मी अप्लाई श्रीधराचार फॉर्मुला ए बी इज इक्वल टू माइनस बी सो एटीन प्लस माइनस अंडर द रूट बी स्क्वायर एटीन स्क्वायर इज थ्री टू फोर थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस टू माइनस फोर ए सी सो आई विल राइट ए इज वन C is twenty eight, so that value will be one one two, yes, over two. So eighteen plus minus square root two hundred and twelve over two. This is in the bracket. Okay, two hundred twelve. So it is fifty three times four. So I can write eighteen plus minus four. I will write outside, so it will become. Not fifteen. It is fifty-three times four. So two will be outside. Square root fifty-three over two. Fifty times four is two hundred. Three times four is twelve. Two hundred twelve. Let's divide with two. So nine plus minus root fifty-three. This is our AB. Now from here, again there are two approaches. You can use. You can find out B as a A means b is equal to nine plus minus root fifty three over a, and substitute here a plus b equal to three. Form one or frame one quadratic equation. Solve for a. So you will get your a. Once a is known, x is known. X is known, then y is known. So what we will do from here? We will consider this a b value. I will use one identity. How it is? See, I will use A minus B whole square. This formula we know it is equal to A plus B whole square minus 4AB. This is what we know. Let us apply now. A minus B whole square is equal to A plus B is known. It is 3. So 3 square is 9 minus 4AB. So 4 times AB just we have calculated. Nine plus minus is square root fifty three. Let's open it. So I will write nine minus thirty six minus plus or plus minus. You can write four root fifty three. And in next step, I will write minus twenty seven minus plus four root fifty three. It is a minus b whole square. Now one argument I will. Put up here. If you will see, once I will consider plus and minus both sign. See four root fifty three. Root fifty three is seven point two eight. Four times if you will take that number would be greater than twenty eight. So once I will take minus sign, it will give a, our square negative. So square. Let me write can't be negative. Can't be negative for real solution. So we will reject this minus sign. so which one is accepted that is a minus b whole square is equal to 4 root 53 because that is now positive term and minus 27 square must be positive now i will take square root both sides so what i will write 4 root 53 minus 27 let me write plus minus 4 root 53 minus 27. Done. 
now I will use a plus b which we know already. Let me write here itself a plus b equal to 3. Add both the equations. Once I will add both the equations, I will collect 2a is equal to 3 plus minus square root 4 root 53 minus 27. Okay. So a will be equal to 3 plus minus square root 4 root 53 minus 27 over 2. Done. Now let us find out. Let's put the value here. Means we will put the value because unnecessarily we will take this square root and square root again. Now root 53. Let me write few values. 7.28. Okay, let us put the value here. 3 plus minus. I will write 29 4 times 7.28. So I will write 29.12 minus 27 over 2. Done. Now it will give us 3 plus minus square root 2.12 over 2. Okay. So square root 2.12 is 1.456. So I can write 1.456 over 2. Once I will consider plus sign, I will collect 3 plus 4.456. So it is 4.456 over 2, which we will give, we will get 2.228. And once I will consider 3 minus, then I will write 1.544 over 2. So I will be having 0.772. So these are the values of A. Let me write here. A is equal to 2.228 and 0 0.7, 0 0.772. Done. Now I will use our substitution. It was our substitution A. So that means a power 4 is equal to 1 plus 5x. Already written it is. So 5x would be a power 4 minus 1. So x will be a power 4 minus 1 over 5. Done. Now let us apply here. So x will be a power 4 minus 1 over 5. So I will write a 2 to 8 whole power 4 minus 1 over 5. The first value and second x will come out 0. Point, this value, second value 0. 0.772 whole power 4 minus 1 over 5. Done. Now, using calculator, without calculator, you cannot find this. So, you will write here 2.228 whole power 4, that is 24.64. I am writing approximate value only, okay. And second value you can write, it is 0. Point. After calculation, see it is minus 1 also. And second value you will write 0. 0.3551 minus 1 over 5. So now you can easily see this value will be approximately 4.72. And second value will be approximately negative 0. 0.128. These are our x values. Now we have to calculate y value also. So how we will find out y from this second system of equation. So 5x minus y equal to 18. This is our second equation. So from here I can write y is equal to 5x minus 18. So let us apply here. So I will write y is equal to. 5 times 4.72. Done. 5x is done. Minus 18 from first value, from this value. And you will find out y for the from the second x value that is negative 0.128. I will write 5 times negative 0.128 minus 18. Okay. Once you will calculate both values. You will have the first value which is corresponding to 4.72 
it is coming out 5.62 approximate value it is let me put one sign approximate and minus 18.64 is the second approximate value here we are having our solutions let me write in the appropriate order so i will write x comma y in this manner first value i can write 4.72 corresponding y value is 5.62 this is one value and second value is negative 0 0.128 corresponding y value is negative 18.64 so this is our answer i hope this video will be meaningful to you do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck and take care of yourself